So what's going on guys, it's my dark 13 back again and I'm back in my natural, well, not my natural habitat, I'm back talking about Dartford. So, hey, football vlogs will hopefully be making a return and obviously I'll be telling you where Dartford are playing in this pre-season. But before all of that, Dartford have signed a two year kit deal with Puma, meaning the days of the Macron kit, which I'm modelling here, are done. Uh, they will be go uh, done now, and it also means Dartford are changing their home and away kit this season. So, obviously, it's a big step up for the club. Obviously, Puma are a very, very well-known brand. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of designs we've got. Obviously, there's not been... Uh, We've not obviously seen the kits yet, but hopefully they'll be absolute bangers because I love Puma kits. Puma do some absolutely fantastic kits. So Dartford have released their retained list, and we can confirm that Steve King has agreed with the following players to return to the club this season. Craig King, the goalkeeper, Daniel Wilkes, uh, Tom Bonner, Connor Essam, Josh Hill, Ronnie Vimp, Jordan Winter, Jack Jeb, Noor Hussein. Luke Allen and Cameron Brody. Love love that Cameron Brody's staying. Hopefully, we'll see him see him uh, playing sort of a bigger role next year. Uh, it has also been one name that you wouldn't have heard on there is Elliot Romain, and that is because he has left the club and signed for Ebbsfleet. So he has signed for arguably our biggest rivals. And as I put, I'm not surprised by that. He's always struck me as a mercenary in football. I've never been his biggest fan. Um, but I wish him luck when he plays Dartford. Obviously, there's no hate there. He scored some great goals for us, and I wish him all the best. But it's going to be one hell of an atmosphere, so long as fans are allowed in, obviously. Um, as for the friendlies, we have... Uh, this is our home friendlies for now. We have, on the 10th of July, we have Ipswich Town. 13th of July, my birthday. We have Gillingham at home. Uh, 17th of July, we have Cholton at home. 24th of July, Wimbledon at home. 27th of July, Sutton United at home. And on the 31st of July, Southend at home. There are also some other pre-season fixtures from what I'm aware. Uh, on the 20th of July, we're away to Carshalton Athletic, which for Dartford fans who have been there for a fair few years, we've used to play those. And on the 7th of August, we are away to Lewis FC, which, if I remember rightly, their stadium is sort of in a massive hole, if I remember rightly. But, on to the bit that we are all here for. New players. We have, as a club, re-signed Mr. Luke Wanadio and Mr. Tarek Hyde. Two players who know what it means to wear the shirt for Dartford and two very good players. Luke Wanadio, great. Tarek Hyde, solid in the middle. Both players have said they're buzzing to be back, which is fantastic to see. And very quickly, before I carry on, I just want to say massive, massive, massive congratulations to Dartford ladies who won their cup final. Which is absolutely amazing. Well done, girls. Couldn't have happened to a nicer bunch. And the the um, it's always nice to see the ladies win a cup, to be honest. But back onto the signings. Dartford have also signed Dan Roberts, who was playing for Slough Town, and I think I remember it. He's a decent player. It would be great. He's always been a player who's quite sort of... quite an interesting player. Obviously, I think it gives us a different option up front, which is always nice to see. And obviously, after losing Elliot Romain, we did need another striker. Um, T 
two very quick just going through. Dolphins have also announced two other signings. As of yesterday, we have signed Bagasan Graham, who is a defender who's played for Chelmsford and a few other clubs. Um, and we have also signed George Porter, who most fans will know from Bromley. And I'm looking at it and I don't know if it's a George Porter who used to play for our academy. Made a few appearances. Um, hopefully someone will confirm that at some point. But, yeah. Um, in terms of the sign-ins and whatever, absolutely incredible. Like, Obviously Steve King signed a three-year deal. Or two or three-year deal. And that is absolutely incredible. Obviously, it, it hopefully after a tough couple of years we will be able to run and get into a decent level and obviously the aim now is, is to get promoted, get into the National League and just enjoy it. But I think with Steve King, I know I wasn't sure of him, but he's the calibre of player is signing now. We've got some great, great players. Uh one player another player who's left is uh Craig Barnum I can't remember his surname. But thank you for your service. And yeah. Um, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And hopefully this is the start of where Darford videos make a long, long awaited return to the channel. And they'll be live. In the ground. Screaming abuse at the referee and Christ knows what else. But yeah. Um, guys. It's so good to be back with Dartford videos. Obviously, there's going to be quite a few videos going up on my channel. Obviously, with the Euros coming about. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one.